Hello friends, this video on comparing quantities part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now the compound interest formula can be useful in many different spheres as well. For example, to calculate the change in population. So if the population is changing over a period of time, so you can actually make use of this compound interest formula to find out the change in population. So let us look at this example. The population of a place increased to rupees 54,000 in 2003 at the rate of 5% per annum. Find the population in 2001. Okay, so here looking at this problem, we see that from 2001 to 2003, there which how much is the time period? So the time period is two years and in a period of these two years, the population has changed, right? And as per the problem, the population has increased basically. So there is an increase in population and the population has increased at the rate of 5% per annum that means yearly annually the population has increased by 5% so we have to find out the population in 2001 so let us assume that the population in 2001 is p so we just assumed it that the population in 2001 was p and what is the population in 2003 so that we already know. Now as using the compound interest formula, we know that amount at the end of two years is equal to the principal amount into 1 plus r by 100 to the power n. Right? This is the formula for compound interest. Now here, if you look at this amount, which is at the end of n number of years. So here that is the population of at the end of two years. Right, so the population at the end of two years, that is in 2003, is 54,000. This is equal to the principal, which is the initial population, which we do not know. So let us leave that as P into 1 plus R is 5 by 100 to the power N, because here the time period is two years and it is increasing annually. So these two should be in sync. So when you have two years, that means two conversion periods, right? So one when, when the uh, interest is compounded annually, that time what happens? You, may, you have one conversion period in a year. So in this case, it is two years. So you have two conversion periods. Now, for each year, your rate of interest is 5%. So this is in sync. So now we can calculate this value. So this would be 54,000 is equal to P into 1 plus 0 0.05 to the power 2. Therefore, we can say P is equal to 54,000 divided by 1.05 whole square. So this is equal to 489.5, which is approximately equal to 48,980. So this was the population in 2001. So that's the first part of the problem. Now what about the second part of the problem? It is asking what would be its population in 2005. So now we know the population in 2003 and we have to calculate the population in 2005. That means after two years, what would be the population? So let us say that the population for 2005 is denoted by A. So because this time we are trying to calculate the amount, not the principal. Because principal is always the initial value and amount is always the final value after n years. In this case, we know the initial value. That is, we know the population in 2003. So the population in 2003 was 54,000 into 1 plus r by 100 to the power n. So n is again 2 because 2003 to 2005 is 2 years. So this is equal to 54,000 into 1.1025. This is equal to 59,535. So this would be the population in 2005. Now compound interest formula can also be helpful in finding out price of items. 
Let us look at this problem. A scooter was bought at Rs. 42,000. Its value depreciated at the rate of 8% per annum. Find its value after one year. So whenever you have these kind of problems where you have a number and then there is an increase or decrease in that number over a period of time. So you will be able to find out its final value using the compound interest formula. So in this case, you see that before the price before the value decreased, the initial price of the scooter was rupees 42,000 and the rate of depreciation is 8% per annum. So again, here also the decrease is happening year on yearly basis. So you have to find out its value after one year. So that is time period is one year. Now, if you look at it, since the uh, decrease is happening per annum that is the decrease it is compounded annually so whenever it is compounded annually how many conversion periods will you have within this time period so in a period of one year you will have only one conversion period so we are more interested to know how many conversion periods do you have to put it into the compound interest formula so the compound interest formula is a n that is the amount after n years is equal to the initial principal into one plus r by 100 to the power n when there is an increase when there is an increase it would be add but when there is a decrease in this case there is depreciation so there is decrease so this would be 1 minus r by 100 to the power n so in this case a n would be the amount after n years so that is the value which we do not know in this case we have to find out this value p is the initial principle which is nothing but 42,000 here into 1 minus r is 8 by 100 to the power n is 1 because you have one conversion period. So this is equal to 42,000 into 1 minus 0 0.08. So this is equal to 42,000 into 0.92. This is equal to rupees 38,640. So this would be the price of the scooter after one year. Compound interest formula can also be used to find out the number of bacteria in a bacterial growth culture. So in a laboratory, the count of bacteria in a certain experiment was increasing at the rate of 2.5% per hour. So every hour there was an increase of 2.5%. Find the bacteria at the end of 2 hours if the count was initially 5,6,000. So here also you know the rate and the rate is increasing at 2.5 percent per hour so please focus on this this time it is not per year but it is per hour and what is your principle like the principle as we call it in the compound interest formula that is the initial number so the initial count was 5 lakh 6 thousand and what is the time period the time period for you which you need to calculate the number of bacteria is two hours so the time period that is given to you is two hours so now in this case when you want to apply this formula a n is equal to principal into one plus r by hundred to the power n so you have to calculate the amount after two hours right so you need to make sure that what would be the value of n so value of n would be 2 because in this case your conversion period is per hour because if you see the rate of interest is given 2.5 percent per hour that means every hour your rate of interest is increasing i mean the principal value would be changing so how many conversion periods do you have you have two conversion periods right so therefore in this case your principal is 5 lakh 6 thousand into 1 plus r by 100 to the power n which is 2 so this is equal to 5 lakh 6 thousand into 1.025 to the power 2 so this is equal to 5316161625 so this is equal to 5 lakh 31616 bacteria so this would be the count of bacteria after 2 hours so whenever you make use of the compound interest formula, you just need to remember one thing. What is the time period for which you need to find out the number and how many conversion periods will fall into that time period. And this convert, when you calculate the number of conversion period, you must take into consideration the 
that how the rate is given whether the rate is given in per hour or per year or half yearly or quarterly so that thing you need to consider to find out the number of conversion periods so once you are done with that it's very easy to calculate uh, or to find out values using the compound interest formula Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.